Can you afford to live in San Ramon, California? Well, I got the cost of living for San Ramon and more, and it's all coming up. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Warren Oberhalser. I'm a realtor in the East Bay Tri-Valley area in Northern California. My channel's all about helping both buyers and sellers get maximum results for one of their biggest investments, their home. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I post new content regularly. Before I start, I want you to know all the material I cover can be found in a separate blog I've created just for this video. You'll find a link for it in the show notes. This video is all about the cost of living for San Ramon, California. If you'd like to know more general information on San Ramon, please watch my pros and cons on San Ramon, California. The stats and information I'm going to share with you comes from bestplaces.net. What I'm gonna do in this video is show you how San Ramon's cost of living rates to the national average. Then, as I have with my other cost of living videos, I'm going to do a bit of a deep dive by comparing San Ramon's cost of living to two other cities, Menlo Park and Tracy. These cities are about 30 to 40 miles apart from San Ramon. However, you'll be surprised by the difference in their cost of living. The cost of living is based on the U.S. average of 100. For example, if the category is groceries and San Ramon's number is 113.4, then this means San Ramon is 13.4% higher than that particular category compared to the national average. Let's look at San Ramon's cost of living and compare that to the national average. Overall, San Ramon's cost of living average is 218.9 compared to the national average and 149.9 compared to California, which means it's approximately 119% higher than the national average and 50% higher than California. I'm now gonna break this down to categories so we can see which area or areas is causing San Ramon's cost of living to be so much higher than the national average. You have groceries, as I said, it's 113.4, healthcare is 109.3, utilities is 101.3, transportation 132.7, and miscellaneous is 110. As I always do a little joke here, I'm not seeing where the big increase is. Oh yeah, just kidding, it's housing. Now in San Ramon, it's 452.4, that's massive. This is approximately 352.4% higher than the national average with a median home cost of approximately $1,046,000. To give some balance to this equation, I'm gonna compare San Ramon to another city, Menlo Park, which is about 40 miles southwest. Now, this is the tech area. You'll see companies like Google, Facebook, etc. Let's see what this town's cost of living is and compare that to San Ramon. Looking at the two categories, costs between the two cities are about a wash. However, when we view the categories for housing, Menlo Park is 117.4% more expensive than San Ramon. Menlo Park's median house price is $2,273,900 compared to San Ramon, which is just now $1,046,000. This means Menlo Park's cost of housing is $1,227,900 higher than San Ramon. Now you may be wondering, why am I comparing San Ramon to Menlo Park? Well, the reason why is a lot of people who live in San Ramon commute to the Silicon Valley, and one of the main towns is Menlo Park. This way, you can understand the cost of living in San Ramon is higher compared to the national average, as well as California, However, it's a pretty good deal when you compare it to the Silicon Valley. Okay, I'm now gonna compare San Ramon to Tracy. Tracy is just about 30 miles east of San Ramon. The bottom line is Tracy's cost of housing is 51.1% cheaper than San Ramon. Tracy's median house cost is $511,400, making it $534 and $600 cheaper than San Ramon. The last point to bring up on Tracy, they've had several newer home developments over the last 20 years. Hopefully, by comparing San Ramon to these other two cities, Menlo Park and Tracy, has made it easier for you to decide if San Ramon is a good fit or a good place for you to live. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, post any questions or comments you may have down below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. I post new content regularly. If you like this video, you may want to watch these two other cost of living videos for Dublin and Livermore, so stay tuned. I have more helpful videos like this coming soon. Please reach out to me for any real estate needs you may have, and I wish you all the best on your home journey.